Dun, dun, dun. You know what this is. It's a celebration, people. We can't say the B word. Grab a drink, grab a glass. After that, we no, we already got glasses. All right, everybody, today's episode of Six Packs with X Packs is brought to you by Red Horse Beer. Red Horse Beer is the local beer of the Philippines. Philippines. Uh, it's a delicious and tasty beer. And it's extra it. strong. It is. It's highly recommended by the bartender inside. I think she's trying to get us drunk. <laughs> All right, but uh, everybody, we want to apologize in advance for the audio. We are outside right now, and they are doing some very heavy construction in this building behind That's us. True. But we are live. We are reporting to you all from Cebu, Philippines, or uh, well, Cebu City, Philippines. Cebu is the island. Cebu City is the city on the island of Cebu in the Philippines. We are in the Philippines. We're the in the second, Philippines. Just the know that part of our for a travel experience, right? So you guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Uh, Facebook and Twitter, we, we will be posting photos and videos of our time here yep. daily. Make sure you check All those that. out. On Instagram, it'll be Instagram story mode, so you guys can follow the videos. Follow, yep. And then later, we will upgrade the high resolution what's the, videos. What's the Instagram name in case people are curious? CP underscore travel. CP underscore travel. Make sure you guys follow us. Check you us out there. You get the C, there. then the P, then the swa, then the cha, uh, 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 L, S. That thing. Follow us on Instagram. Also, you all will notice that this is a non-traditional uh, six packs with X packs because we also got margaritas and I'm drinking out of my right hand so no buffalo double fist then I'm calling no buffalo right now because I'm holding the camera with the other hand so y'all gotta deal with this all right all so right. what's on today's agenda Carl all right today we're gonna talk we've been in the Philippines for I think a total of maybe less than le definitely less than 24 hours it's about eight but hours maybe, but maybe eight hours right so a lot first, less. first night out we haven't really got fully into our itinerary uh -huh. but we still want to talk about our first impressions of us getting off the airplane and arriving in the Philippines and how we felt. So Patrick, tell us how you felt the moment you stepped first into the impressions, Philippines. First impressions, as soon as I got to the Philippines, uh, one, Manila Airport, airport was really nice, uh, but transferring through the airport was absolutely horrible. Mainly because we got lost a whole lot. I mean, that was just, that's just, that was, Loki, that was our fault. Yeah. All right, that, that, that was us. That was, that, oh, oh that, there we go. Yeah, that was our fault because uh, we just we just were not good with the directions. Also, that. so um, the, 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 the airport said like we went through security checks about eight eight times. Like, can you not eight times? Eight times. And we're flying domestic. In the we're airport. Doing, we're doing domestic transfers in the airport. Domestic transfers. We landed eight in times. Manila, the capital city of the Philippines, and then we transferred to another airline to go to Cebu. It's a domestic transfer. Eight. Time. Not customs. Customs one time. Customs, nah, Security well, checks. Checking bags. Eight time. I'm talking about like take I'm your bag off, pass the lock, tap through, take your belt off, no jackets, no shoes, walk no through socks. the thing. I'm at, I had to take my socks off. I had to take Y'all know my Y'all know how much ashes. stuff I keep in my pockets? I got so much stuff. They were like, no, nah, you got to take all this stuff out your pockets. Ridiculous. Take your belt off. Get this pat down. Pat. I'm like, how y'all know my name? Like, we saw it. <laughs> it's weird. No, so that, uh, was, that was quite annoying. However, yeah. I will say I feel a lot safer now. Wait, hold on a second. They probably can't hear because the... Uh, a, mo a motorcycle just went past. I feel a lot safer now because I've gone through so many security checks and everybody else has arrived here have done the same thing. So that's one of the See, my, one of my impressions. That's not necessarily true. So a lot of people don't know, but the Philippines is not just one giant landmass, right? The Philippines is actually made up about, it, I, I might get to zero wrong because y'all know me, I ain't good with math, so my decimals might be off. But it's either, I think it's like 7,000 individual islands, right? Big and small, but it's, it's a... It's a republic of 7,000 different islands. So, not everybody's coming in through the through, uh, on airplanes, right? They got ferries to go back and forth. We're actually going to be on a ferry tomorrow uh, going down to Dumaguete. 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 Yeah, we're going to uh, live stream that as best as we can. I am not because I do not have a SIM card. I do not have uh, internet connection. Shout so, out to T-Mobile. Y'all hold me down in the Philippines. Y'all suck in Taiwan, though. I mean, quite a, I mean, it says this connection is weak, so... Right. I'm gonna need y'all to get it together a little bit, especially with how much we gotta pay for this. Uh, but regardless, we're making it work. True. All right. So, uh, what else, Carl? What about you? First, first impressions so, of the Philippines. Um, we got first, here. first, we had a we had a rough landing. When we landed in the Philippines, like the it was like a 
Boom. It wasn't even like a, a shout out to Vince for the likes. I see you, Vince. It was a strong, strong landing that we had. So first up, I was I was a little bit. Dog, when we landed in in Cebu, yeah, in Cebu, man, yeah. I was asleep. I swear, I thought we crashed. I saw my yeah. whole life flash before my eyes. I really felt like I was about to die. But, I was actually terrified. But we are that was alive second, and fine as hell. That was but yeah, the second scariest landing that we've ever had. Remember that time in Portugal? So Carl and I, we going to Portugal a couple years ago for a big Euro trip. And the airplane, it had to land, but then it took off again, but it did a touch and go. I don't know if y'all ever felt a plane like doing it in skirt skirts. Like, it, 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 for real, it, it landed, he was like, nah, we, we landed like, too he fast. Like, he was like, all right, everybody, so we're getting ready to land. I need a uh, bug. And then he, he, like, nah. he was like, he was like, sorry, sorry about, about that. that. I'm like, you can't yeah, be saying landing. sorry about that. You're, in, you're a pilot. Be professional. Right. I was terrified. My life is literally in your I hands. I peed a little bit. I had no gray sweatpants. Yeah. He you know how awkward it is? Yeah, you know how awkward oh. it is to walk around with sweatpants on with a little piece thing. Just like the smallest piece thing. The smallest. It looked like I washed my hands and like wiped it on the front. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I have no idea. But what I will say. Um, so after we got out of the airport, uh, we, we, we hopped into a cab. Cab is really easy to get here. They're fairly inexpensive. Um, I have a video about that on the website. Check that out later. But um, we got into a cab when we were driving around, right? So at first, first we weren't, honestly, my honest opinion, I wasn't really impressed with Super City. Because hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. I'm going to interrupt the live stream for just a moment. I need y'all to see this look. So we are we are at a taco joint outside live streaming, bringing you guys the footage. That exactly. You think. We no. went overseas and we found tacos, not for Love us. Tacos. Not for us. Love Shut tacos. up, not for us. Sorry, not for us. We found tacos for y'all because we know that a lot of people are worried about not knowing what to eat or not knowing what they can do when they go overseas. You're like, oh, what if I go overseas and I don't like the food? Well, guess what? They got tacos, and we found tacos and margaritas and Red Horse beers. The official sponsor of. Not this podcast because they're not paying us. Also, the official fast food restaurant of the Philippines specializes in guess what food? Guess what food it is, guys? I give y'all a hint. Guess what food? No. Nope. Right there. Uh, Don't worry. Show it to them. What food is that? Jonah B's chicken. Chicken. Jonah B's chicken. It rivals Popeye. Y'all like, oh my God, nothing rivals Popeyes. Okay, first off, Chicagoans. There are better. There is better think, chicken out I there think, in the world. I think Chicagoans than, is pronounced than, Chica than Popeyes. Chicagans. 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 Right. Nothing's better than Harold. Get that right. Chicagans. Nothing's better than Harold. Wait, hold on a second. All my Chicago, all my Chicago people, I need y'all to respond to this real quick. Uncle Remus or Harold? Harold. I want to start some serious arguments right now. Harold. I don't care. I don't care. But first, how do you feel about how do you feel about Harold's Burger King? On 87 too. That's how the best feel, one. That is that. Uh, that is the best one. I, I can't front. That's the best one. Unrivaled. The one where you go and you got the bulletproof glass with that? Absolutely. Yeah. I like the one at, uh, what is it? It's not College Park. Hyde Park? Mm hmm I like that one. Only because it was only because it was close to where uh to where my frat brother lived. But no, nah, I like I like I like the one I know it was the one off the highway. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. next to the crystals. Oh, when they man, be selling crystals. they be selling uh what? socks, they sell socks Thanks, and they Vince. sell they be selling socks and uh comforters on the highway. Who get off the highway and want to buy a comforter, Chicago? Well, get you it together. You never know when you, need a, when you need a comforter. You so, need a new duvet set? Shout out to, yes. You need a new duvet set? Chance nah, the Ridiculous. Hold it down, Chance. I feel like Chance started selling uh, selling comforters and moved his way on up. He was selling Maybe socks. Maybe not, because his dad's socks, a politician. Selling socks with little balls on the back. Hey, them the best the socks. Whatever. Kids. Call me Sorry, one anyway. little balls. All right, so, so the Philippines. We're talking about, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now, I got a quick, quick question. How do you all feel, Carl, you included, how do you all feel about Burger King buying up Popeyes? Right? Now, yeah, we don't get we don't get many Popeyes out here. Yes, one Popeyes. There's one in Hong Kong. There's one in the airport. There's like two Popeyes in the Vietnam airport. So if you're oh, ever in Vietnam dope. and you need your Popeyes fixed, go there. But then y'all know now, the biscuits are not the same. The biscuits are not the same at all. So just just be prepared for that kind of disappointment. Absolutely. Right. But how do you feel about uh, Burger King buying the Popeyes for what was $1.8 billion? I feel like Popeyes money. is worth a lot more than that. All right, They got like 40 spices in the ad. So I know, I know they Lowry's. Uh, season salt bill is a lot higher than 1.8 billion a year. Let us know in the comments. Uh, yeah, whatever. Look, we get to that later. All right, a little bit loud. Again, if you are watching this or you tuning into the podcast, then you all might hear a little bit of background noise. A lot of background noise. It's because we're, we're outside. Out yeah, we're trying. We'll do our best, but you know we can't make any uh, any promises. But uh, what else? What else? So Carl and I, we're we're sitting around. We were uh, waxing poetic about some of our travel purchases. 
true. All right, so we were coming up with like, what are some of the best things that we ever bought? Like, what are some of the best things that we've yeah. ever bought uh, on our trips? And I'm saying one of them, one completely necessary travel expense, especially if you're a photographer, I think it's this, and again, this is not a paid advertising, but I think it's this, this Gorilla Pod, right? So the, what the Gorilla Pod is, yeah, I don't know, they'll figure it out. What the Gorilla Pod is, it's a, it's a tripod, it's a detachable tripod for your cameras, uh, but it can wrap around, it can grab on the stuff. For me, for me, uh, I think, I think, shout out to Vince for sharing the video, I think that it's really, really good as a photographer because if you're trying to travel with a tripod, you will get stopped and they will take your tripod from you in the airport. I know this from first-hand experience because I've, not, I've lost not one, not two, but I've lost three Put tripods. Down. I thought y'all had like four pounds. It's like y'all got the eight jewels. The disrespect. The disrespect. Y'all got eight jewels. Yeah, so like those, like, like those travel perks have been really, really like influential for us, right? So like we are obviously travel people. We travel a lot. And the one of the things that we need a lot of is travel equipment. So we've actually bought a lot of travel equipment. If you guys need any feedback or input on what, yeah, what you know. should buy and what you need and what's best for packing and traveling, yeah. hit us up. We'll definitely let you know. Because things, are, things are different. Like, you know, a lot of people, I know we were uh, debating whether we should bring laptops tonight. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Carl, maybe not, not so much uh, because most of the photos that we store end up on my computer and on the external hard drive anyway. Uh, for some people, bringing a laptop is completely necessary. For others, you don't need that. And you can get away with, honestly, traveling around with extra memory cards. I think extra memory cards, no matter what you're traveling with, you just have a phone. You got a big DSLR. Uh, some phones, they could take those uh, micro SD cards. Travel with extra memory cards because it's nothing worse than being out and then your phone or your camera run out of memory and then you can't do anything. Like you gotta start deleting photos from something else because you didn't bring a laptop or you can't get to a place with reliable internet. Like in New Zealand, the internet, New Zealand's amazing by the way, but the internet is not the best. So I had to end, I ended up deleting like 200 pictures during our road trip last year through New Zealand just because I didn't have a laptop and I had no way of storing my photos. So, so extra memory cards, first, extra batteries. If, you, if you're someone who takes uh, pictures a lot, Take all those photos you don't need off your phone, off your phone. If, yeah. you, if you are like a lot of people, when you have like a 16 gig iPhone 32 or even a 64, you're going to want to take videos, you're going to want to take photos. Before you, you go get on the plane, clear all those things out. I'm sure if you go back, back on your up, phone right now, back you're going to, to, to your see phone, a whole yeah. bunch of photos you've had from months, years, yeah. years ago. You don't need that. Delete yeah. them because you, you want to have that space Delete you really, when you actually go to because you never know what you're going to want to do a serious purge. Do a serious purge on your phone before you leave. Because a lot of times, I mean, they always say like the best camera is the, the camera that you can access the fastest. And mo for most of us, that's our phones. Yep. So make sure you do a serious part purge on your phone. Get rid of all those unnecessary pictures, all those unnecessary videos. Or if you don't want to get rid of them, back them up. Save them to your computer. Sync them up. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, you're working with some Oh, okay. I was about to start. Too much, too much. about to start hitting the... Alright, so you just hit the robot? I, 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 I had to mix the robot and like me go something. So we're in the Philippines. Cooking I wanna get really quick. Cooking. I know y'all wanna hear about what we're doing in the Philippines, right? So Cebu City is lively. There's a bunch of options that you can do in the Ton city of for light for late night entertainment. But if, if you wanna get up in the daytime and enjoy your Shit. day, Beach. man, there like the ocean is right outside your door if you want it to be. Yeah. There's plenty of beaches, there's plenty of like uh, Whoa, karaoke places. Lots of amazing things. You know what? You know what's really interesting? This is actually, I was doing a bunch of research before we got here because you know, CP Drive, we do the research before we go places. A lot of research. And we will do the research for you and we'll make sure you got all the information you need to have the best trip of your life. On but, lock. but, did you just do the, the, the fist look? You gotta. That's whack, lame. What, what right. is this? I don't, I don't know. know. I got that but um, when I was doing the research, I found out that one, Christopher Columbus came through here, right? That's why the Spanish influence is so big. But, did you know that Ferdinand Magellan, the first person to ever circumnavigate the globe, came here and got his behind whipped? Like, no, he died. He died. Oh, in. he died in Philippines? Yeah, he was killed. Oh. Yeah, the, the Mactan people. The Mactan people killed him because he was trying to come in and colonize it. Huh. And they were like, nah, we ain't having it. Well, he, he, he pulled up in the wrong hood. Exactly. Like he thing. pulled up to the scene. He got, you know, with his silly misses. Silly. <laughs> pulled up to the scene with his silly misses. Mentioned. Middle so, finger up if you're feeling on, different. On our Philippines agenda, what, what do we have coming up for the next few days? Oh, so I'm so excited about the agenda that we got. Get today. them excited. Today, today was our chill day, right? Because tomorrow we're trading uh we're taking a ferry down south. We're gonna stop at Sikior Island and then we're gonna bop down to Dumaguete. Bop down. 
Dumaguete. We're gonna go there. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna see a lot of the old cathedrals. We're gonna do a lot of driving while we're down there. See a lot of things, uh, the waterfalls, going to different. Uh, Sorry, I've been in the flexing. gym. Stop flexing. Sorry. All right, see a lot of waterfalls, doing a little bit of swimming and stuff. But on the third day, on the third day, he rose. We taking. Hold on a second, dog. They don't understand. Mm. They don't understand. Y'all don't think y'all understand. I don't think y'all understand. Break it out to them. On the third on day. On the third day. Matthew 21 12. If you don't know what it is, look it up and then comment below in the pictures. Right. Don't, Comments, don't, videos. Don't this. Okay. Look it up. But on the third day, we are going swimming with whale sharks. We are. And we I'm are going swimming. swimming. And he's not going to let me drown this time. You know why? You didn't drown the first time. Okay. You can't drown, drown twice. Time. You cannot he's not gonna drown let me twice. Drown. He's going he's gonna to make sure I have a great, safe time. I'm not going to make any promise. I'll make sure he have a great time. Safe time? I'm just, I'm joking, Mama Hill. Yeah, he's gonna have a right. great time. If I, if I, if I don't good. come back, good. you don't come back. That's the bro code. That's not true at all. He says that girl from New York that be rapping. Ah, What's her name? Cardi B? No, no, not Cardi B. Cardi B from New York. Shout out to Cardi no, B. Hey, uh, which the, the girl from ooh, ooh, the ooh, young girl, who's who that? Young Ma? Young Ma, yeah, shout is out to Is it Young Ma or Young M.A.? Because she's spelled oh, her name that's M.A. Right. I think it's Young, young M.A. Young, if y'all know, let us know. Young Massachusetts. What's the M.A. saying? Young Massachusetts. Uh, Isn't that, what's the abbreviation? Isn't that like MS or something? Somebody from New York, comment MT. below. Don't judge That's us. Michigan. We ain't been back home for a minute. I have. It don't I'm matter. New York, it don't matter. Look, Shot if you don't know, if you don't know what the what the abbreviation for Arkansas is, you can't tell me nothing. If you say it's AK, then I'm gonna come at you and spray with the AK. Bra bra. No, he I'm doesn't joking. have any guns. I'm joking. We don't have guns. <laughs> we don't have guns. Actually, actually, you've never shot a gun in my life. You should never mind. No. All right. I shot an airsoft gun. So, you guys should Shout be out to as Steven. excited. I apologize for your hand. But yes, we're swimming with whale sharks. You guys should whale be excited. Sharks. The Philippines is going to be amazing. What? What? It's like a whale and a shark together. And we're going to live stream Y'all remember them so Geico commercials? It's stream. pie, pie, and chips for free. Mm. It's a whale and a shark. Inception animal. This beer is really good, by the way. Huh? It's Red Horse. Shout out to Vince. Vince does know Vince does know the abbreviation for Arkansas. It is AR. It is not AK. Did I say that, though? I feel like I, I kind of gave it away. Yeah, kind of. Like, like, if it's not AK, it has to be AR or ASS. Huh. Carl, where you from? <laughs> where you from? Huh? Where you from? Shot town all day, baby. Chicago? 24 7. Chicago, what's that? Fourth Illinois. Place. And y'all abbreviation ILL because y'all sick. And y'all are on your death. Shut up. That's not I that was not clever. That my bad. Not, yeah, that, wasn't my, that wasn't one of my best jokes. You gotta crawl your way. It's not one of my crawl best jokes. Your way to but whatever. You gotta crawl your I don't way crawl to anywhere. All right. I'm a I'm a grown man, Damon. I'm a I'm a man, Damon. So, you guys, we are in the Philippines again, paying it forward. Want to remind everybody that the reason why we pay it forward is because we're raising awareness for brain aneurysm research and. For lupus awareness, right? And research. So if you Pretty haven't already, doing this donate, for our moms. donate to our, to our GoFundMe page. Who sent the angry page? face? What, right. you, what, what you, you mad about? about? You mad about us raising awareness for two important causes that we Hey, got. who is that? Somebody run up on him real quick. Yo, shout out to Shot town folks. To see, man, I can't believe I just said that out loud. Hey, thank you. He, he knows. <laughs> Shot town, shot town. Y'all know I can't, I can't, I can't know. read and watch at the same time. I gotta, if I read, if it pop up on read the screen, I gotta read at the same I'll time. I gotta bathroom, man, low key, cause we've been drinking uh, beer. We were drinking Only one beer, mom. All day. One beer, mom. One margarita. Maybe six, six more. That later, is not true. Car was drinking all day. We had red wine on the first plane. Then we had white wine on the second plane. Then we got stuck in the airport for nine and a we half went to hours. Sleep on both nope. planes. Full of sleep. Passed out. Passed out. You know Passed why? Because our flight left at 1.30 in the morning, delayed, got on it anyway, got to got the Philippines, flight was no, the second delayed. flight was delayed. I was so mad. <laughs> we, I was so mad. I was like, yeah, they turn up. Like, uh, excuse me. No, 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 nope. no, sir. Nope. Your flight is delayed. Delayed. Womp, womp. Mm -hmm. So we sat there and we had very limited Wi-Fi, very limited battery. But the zero is the Wi-Fi. Anyway, because when you see P travel, you always have a good time. Exactly. Travel when you see P travel, you see people travel. That wasn't clever. Was nope. My bad, y'all. I am off. Travel, I am off with the jokes today. Time, right? You have a great time. And here's what I want to say. Like, like we got struck. Well, uh, our flight got delayed, and we missed our connecting flight. We ended up having to spend a night in Shanghai, and it was a group of about seven of us. Yes, and they we're spent at a night Park. With, with CP travels, and guess what happened? They had an amazing time. Why? Because we made sure they had an amazing time. That's what it means to travel with us, right? It's about what more. It than just getting you somewhere and make and like exactly. looking at cute stuff, right? We, it's, the, it's the experience. Every honestly. part of your experience is going to be unique. It's going to be funny. It's going to be amazing. Yep, it's very true. Yes, Kevin, we are at IT Park right yep. now. We're sitting it's in front dope. of Red Lizard and Jola B. Uh, they have a big expo going on. So uh, y'all will see pictures from that. Again, if you want to follow what we're doing, make sure Instagram you follow us stories, on Instagram because we're going to be pumping stuff in through Instagram and Snapchat. 
Instagram name is CP underscore travels. High resolution photos coming later from the photographer of CP Travels. How that's boy. not me. That's it's that guy. Definitely not him. That's that guy. Definitely not I'll him. take good photos. Also, shout out to my mustache. I see you flourishing. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap up here because we have to keep it moving. Um, but if you guys, again, pay it for travel experiences, we're going to Hong Kong next month, then Vietnam, then Indonesia, and Africa. Sign up for one of us. Meet us here. Be a part of our live stream and our podcast if you want to. Yep. There's Carl. I am. That's Patrick. Ah, yeah. <laughs> nah, that's you, you forgot his name. I Try am that Carl. again. One more time. Do it again. This is Carl. And that is Patrick. And we are CP Travels. Woo!